So in this video, I'm going to illustrate how you can actually use a DNS server to do round robin load balancing. And this is powerful because if you have two data centers or more, you would be able to distribute the load between them. So if you have an LTM, which works at an IP address level and it's got servers behind it. And I have a video on that, F5, big IP, LTM. So this guy has data center one and this guy has data center two. And there are servers sitting behind them. And then you have a VIP virtual IP that you wanna load balance between I mean, obviously there are solutions, commercial solutions off the shelf like Big5, GPM, Netscaler and others. With a simple DNS, this is just to demo, demo how this DNS could round robin load balance between the two VIPs in my case. The first one is 192.168.56.120. And the second one is 200. So when the DNS server, I've got two VOS uh, routers configured with name servers. And the name server is my CentOS 7 with bind. I installed Vine on it, went through the documentation and created a zone file called Tic Tac. So in the zone file Tic Tac, I have two A records resolving to www.tic.tac. So when the first client with his browser or his CLI ping, it's the name server for a resolution, he would get resolved to this IP and the second would, one will get resolved to this IP. And therefore it becomes a round robin load balancing using the DNS. So here's my first client and I'm hitting Tic Tac. Here's my second one and I'm hitting the URL, Tic Tac, and it's hitting two different IPs. So the way to do that is again, like I said, uh, it's simple first, you know, what I did was I configured the name server right here. This is my CentOS IP. Here it is, and the command is pretty simple for that. Set system name server. In my case, it's already configured, right? So once you configure that and hit the URL and not the IP, it'll load balance. And how does the CentOS configuration looks like, which is pretty straightforward. Uh, once you create the you know, the zone file, you are going to put in two A records. And in these two A records, you are putting the IP that that's, which they're going to be resolving. Once you do that, your mind is up and running. Make sure that you 
when you configure it, you put the uh, parentheses in the right place. This looks like it's out of place, but this is where it's supposed to be. I had a hard time uh, putting this in and I always miss it when I'm configuring it. But once you have everything and follow the documentation, here's a good document, by the way. DigitalOcean, how to configure Bind as a private DNS. I just followed this document, this URL, configured it, and then put two A records to resolve to two different IPs. And this is, uh, these IPs are essentially living on my DNS. First one is a loopback. And the second one is just the IP address of the management interface. And here's the network that the DNS is connecting to the two clients. So very simple setup, but it demonstrate, it will test, you know, help you enable and test out, feel confident about how the DNS round robin is uh, working, how you can test it. And this is how exactly the GTM or uh, you know, global server load balancing works. They basically use URLs and resolving to two or more IPs, whereas the LTMs work on IP addresses. So you got to configure the VIPs. Once they get the VIP, they distribute the loads to the servers. So simple test, but very powerful. And you know, if you want to upgrade data center one, you just take off take the one record out and then bring them as active active or active standby just by manipulating these two A records. Very powerful concept. Hope this helps.